Hello, in this video we're going to go over a problem from IMO 2021. This was a shortlisted problem, which means it was a problem that was proposed to appear in the IMO International Mathematics Olympiad, but it didn't quite make it. And this is problem A2, which means it's an algebra problem. Okay, so here's the problem. It says, for every integer n greater than or equal to 1, consider the n by n table with entry ij over n plus 1, floor of that, at the intersection of row i and column j, for every i from 1 to n, j from 1 to n, determine all integers n greater than or equal to 1, for which the sum of the n, n squared entries of the table is equal to 1 fourth n squared times n minus 1. Okay, so at this point, you may want to pause the video, think about the problem, and then come back and check the solution. This problem turned out to be a relatively easy problem for me. So basically the first thing that I tried, it worked. And here's what I tried. So first of all, let's write down what this tells us. It tells us that the sum i equals 1 to n, the sum j equals 1 to n, floor of ij over n plus 1 must be equal to 1 fourth n squared times n minus 1. In the beginning, I thought maybe I'll have to figure out when the right hand side is an integer, but then I decided against that. I said, well, let's just first evaluate the uh, sum on the left and then we'll figure out when it's an integer. So, but they, basically the first thing that I tried was I'm trying to evaluate in a sum. So I'm gonna do some, some techniques of evaluations of sums. So one thing you could do is you could change the order of summation. So here is what I did. Instead of evaluating it from 1 to n for j, I will evaluate it from n to 1. And here is how you would do that. I'm going to replace j by n plus 1 minus j over n plus 1. This is going to be the exact same sum when j equals 1, n plus 1 minus j is n. And when j equals n, n plus 1 minus j is 1. So these are the exact same sums. Now the nice thing about this is that if you simplify this guy, it becomes, so same thing, i equals 1 to n, j equals 1 to n, and it simplifies quite a bit. It becomes i minus ij over n plus 1. And that's the exact same sum, 1 fourth n squared times n minus 1. Now the nice thing is that i comes out of the floor. So we get i equals 1 to n, j equals 1 to n, i plus floor of minus ij over n plus 1. And that is equal to 1 fourth n squared times n minus 1. Now I thought about uh, basically adding the two sums to see what I get. So if I add the two, I would get the sum i equals 1 to n, sum j equals 1 to n, i plus floor of ij over n plus 1 plus floor of negative ij over n plus 1 and that ends up being 1 fourth n squared times n minus 1 the other one was the same thing so it's just going to be double so if you separate that you get the sum of i j equals 1 to n, i equals 1 to n. And this is going to be equal to the sum of i times n because there are n terms in here and all of them are i and this is going to be n times sum of i, which is n, n plus 1 over 2. So this is n squared, n plus 1 over 2. Now if I take that and plug it into the top sum, I would get n squared times n plus 1 over 2 plus the sum i and j range from 1 to n, floor of ij over n plus 1 plus floor of negative ij over n plus 1. And this is equal to n squared times n minus 1 over 2. So, and notice that these are all equivalent to each other. So this means I can say that the sum of i and j go from 1 to n, ij, uh, ij over n plus 1 plus negative ij over n plus 1 is equal to, take the difference of these two, you get n squared over 2 times n minus 1 minus n minus 1 which is, this is negative 2, so this is negative n squared. Now, I'll have to understand the floor of ij over n plus 1 plus floor of negative ij over n plus 1. That's not very difficult to see. In general, if you have floor of x plus floor of negative x, if x is an integer, this would be 0. If x is not an integer, this would be negative 1. And the reason is, if x is between two integers, n and n plus 1, 
then negative x would be between negative n minus 1 and negative n. Floor of this one is n, floor of this one is negative n minus 1, so the sum is negative 1. So now let's see what happened here. We have n squared terms, each of them is at most negative 1, and they add up to negative n squared. So what does that mean? It means this equality holds. So the equality holds if and only if every one of those terms is negative 1. Now, when, is, when are these terms negative 1? This is true if and only if ij divided by n plus 1 is not an integer. For every i and j between 1 and n. Now, when does that happen? This is exactly when n plus 1 is a prime. So the answer is n plus 1 is a prime. If you like this video, make sure to check out the rest of the videos on my channel. I go over either topics that are discussed in math competitions or interesting math competition problems. And I will see you in another video.